I've been looking at my screen time lately. When I first took a look at this graph, I was like 13 hours. And then I realized it was my computer and my phone combined. And when I looked at YouTube specifically, it was just over an hour and 50 five minutes and i thought to myself what if i took that time instead of watching youtube videos i studied the bible i'm going to kind of vlog each day and share what i've learned from that experience so let's go First day of doing this, I decided to get a little creative. I was home all day with my kids and I was like, it's gonna be hard for me to find time while they're still awake to do this. So I worked it out that they were even going to help me record some of the B-roll to involve in this daily vlog. And we decided also to head to a coffee shop where I was able to get some more study time in while they Played. Check it out. So what's my first takeaway? This first day in the books, two hours done. What do I think? Well, the first thing I realized is how many times I just check and look at my phone. So I went through and I turned off all my notifications except for text messages. Maybe there's something in your life today that you could switch out for more time in scripture. This is daily vlog number two. Here we go. Guys, I'm tired. This it's 11 o'clock on the nose. I'm going to bed. I'm going to get up early because tomorrow I won't have time. And this is what I'm realizing is that to make this happen, to make this work, I have to readjust, not just YouTube, <laughs> not just screen time, but readjust. And it's not that I haven't been spending time in the word. Otherwise I have, but not in this focused of a way for this long of a time in one sitting. And it's so much help, more helpful to do it in one sitting than like piece by piece throughout the day, even though I did 30 minutes in the morning today and then an hour and a half here in the evening. I'm going to try to get up. No, I'm not going to try. I'm going to get up at 5 a.m. And we're going to do this. <sighs> So after I dropped my daughter off at school, I headed back to the coffee shop as I found it easier to focus sometimes even when I'm out in public and I can look up and see people as opposed to sitting alone in my office or in my house. Day three is in the books and there's two things that I've learned while doing this. The first is when I take this amount of time to put into my Bible study in one block. It gives me the time to use other resources. I don't feel rushed to just use what's in front of me, but I can go grab other books, other commentaries. I can use more and more because I'm not fitting it into a small window. I'm giving myself the space to go deeper. And I've also realized that it's not about the time. It's not about hitting a certain amount of time each day. There's been times here 
doing this where I felt if I just stopped a little bit earlier, I probably would have gotten enough, but I pushed on to keep going. So I would recommend that if you're going to set aside a certain amount of time, when you feel you've gotten everything you need, or you've gotten to a good place to stop, feel free to stop. Don't keep pushing just to fit some kind of quota. Well, that's what I've learned so far, completing three days of swapping out my screen time for Bible study. Check back to the channel next week where I'll have my next video completing the week. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss it as I at the end will give all of the things that I've learned, package them nice and neatly for you so that you can learn from what I've done. I hope and pray you're well. Remember, faithfulness is pursued together. In the meantime, while you're waiting for that video to come out, click right here and check this one out. I appreciate you guys. See you later.